Hi everyone. So it's prom season and everybody's been asking me if I can show them how to make some bows. And I do have some little tips and tricks that make it easy for when you're making those million bows for your corsages. I'm also going to show you how to make some other bows, same bows, but with other um, ribbons. So I'm going to start with the typical corsage ribbon. This is also what I use for weddings. It's just a pretty sheer. I usually use white or ivory for weddings, but I think the green in this case is gonna show up better. So what I'm going to do is, you know, when I was taught, I was taught assembly line, you have to go fast. So every time you pick up your tool and put it down is literally another second that you're wasting that's how i was taught so we are going to just do bow after bow after bow after bow after bow on this continuous ribbon using this ribbon which makes it easy that you can um you know prepare and you can just hang somewhere. I use hangers, so we're gonna hang off hangers. So you could hang, you know, 100 bows off of one hanger. And then when you're ready to go use it, just snip it. Easy as that. So I think what's easiest is I'm gonna start the first bow in my hand, and then I'm gonna show you kind of how I make it, and then I'll go ahead and make the other ones so you could see how quick it is. Now with a sheer ribbon, obviously there's no front or back. You don't have to worry about twisting. When I do make bows, I do like to twist because then it it sets the little loop off in a direction that's not just straight on top of each other. So for instance, if you weren't going to twist, it would just be on top of each other, on top of each other, on top of each other, which is fine. This is actually how I make these. But then you have to make your little wire um, tight enough so that you can pull these and make them flare out. When we get to a ribbon that has a front and a back, then I'll show you the twisting to get that front on the top of the loop every time. Okay, so we're gonna do three loops on each side. So this is our little tail. I only do two tails. So here's our little tail. So we're gonna start with the first loop. So that's your center. Your fingers are always gonna stay there. The ribbon's always gonna meet there and that's where you put your wire. So let's do it this way. Okay, so I should start, let's do it on an angle like that, like the uh, breast cancer little pin right so that your tail goes sideways and then now this is where and it doesn't have to even be that severe but we don't we have to we have to come up like this and our tail is kind of in the middle of the loop and we don't want that to happen so let's bring it to the side and pinch it all right now we can go straight up so see how i'm doing that so your loop is like that and then you're taking your ribbon and going back like this okay and then you're just gonna do the same thing so top loop I always make them a tiny lip bigger or the same size bottom loop so you, what all you're really doing is you're doing the top loop behind, the bottom loop behind. The top loop behind, I'm gonna exaggerate it. The bottom loop behind. The top loop behind, bottom loop behind. All right, that's kind of what you're doing and you're keeping them all in your little hand. So let's start again. So you have your tail and you're making your loop. You're gonna come up behind with the next one, making them the same. Okay, and then we're not twisting or anything, we're just going up, meeting the top loop, and then we're doing this. Up, bottom, 
So that's it. There's your three and three and your tail. And then this is going to be your tail. All right. I'm going to cut this now just so you can see what one single bow looks like before you take your wire. Okay. So this is a, this is the trick part. I'm going to put the wire on the top. Okay. Let's see. Yep. So on the top and I'm still going to have everything in between my fingers. Okay. But we don't want to see this wire and we want these loops to kind of get close together to kind of fan out. So this is how we do it. So you have your wire on one side of all the loops. You're going to take your finger like this. Okay. So like you're walking and you're going to put it right up against the ribbon like that. The wire is going to go around your finger. Okay. When the wire is around your finger, you're going to twist. So I'm going to show you. So I'm going to put the wire out like that. I'm going to put my finger in there. Sorry. It's usually a lot easier than this. Okay. See? So now I have my thumb on the two wires. My finger is pressed up. Okay. I am going to take all of my loops. So this is kind of where I am. Okay. Finger. Okay. So now I am going, see how wide right now this is i want everything to be squished so i'm gonna make this wire almost like a hairpin right now i'm going to squish it so it's like that see how skinny pull it you can't even see it anymore that's what we want so if we dissect it there it is in there, little skinny, okay? So we pull it like that. Now I'm gonna get my finger in there because if you twist here, if you twist at this point without using your finger, it just is gonna be loose. So this is the tip. Twist, twist, twist. Look how tight, it's not going anywhere. All right, so now you can go ahead and fluff. So pull one this way, pull one this way, pull one this way, pull one this way. It's even, you could even pull, it's not too tight enough where you can't pull your ribbons. So let me just fluff like I normally would. I actually flattened it down a lot to show you. So let me fluff. Let me fluff and show you what it really looks like. You won't be fluffing though. When you're doing this, you won't you won't be fluffing them like this. You're just going to make them and they are what they are because you know when you put them up against your little roses, you know, they're going to look good. So just if you're ever making one at a time, you can do it this way, but I, I really kind of screwed it up because I was showing you. That one, what's happening is this one's too big and that's the first one, but you could always fix it. I mean, you just find where it is on the other side and pull it. So let me, Sorry if I keep going down. There you go. There's your little, your little corsage bow. All right, you could do the tails however you want, cut them, leave them long. All right, so now let me show you how fast you're gonna do them, okay? So there's your tail. You're gonna do one, two, three, Oh, I'm twisting. We're not twisting. One. I'll show you the twist. Two. 
three, four, five, and six. There's the three on either side. We're gonna gather, get your wire, get your wire in there. Right, you're gonna do that. You're gonna twist, twist, twist. All right, that's a little small, but you get the gist. So the next one, all right, is gonna be right here. You're gonna leave, this is your tail for this bow, and then this is your tail for this bow. You're gonna cut it right here. So you gotta make in between two tail lengths. One's for this bow, one's for this bow. See? You start with your loop, your loop, your loop, your loop, your loop, your loop. You get your wire. Pull it, get your finger in there, twist, twist, twist. Okay, so now I have a hanger where you could hang anywhere. You could, I do a lot of things where it's right in front of me, but this might move and it might bug you. So you could always do it on, you know, a door hanger handle. All right, so I'm gonna do one more for you. So here's your loop and your loop. Let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Loop. And then, there we go. Loop, 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 loop. Loop, loop. I'm gonna go loopy after this. All right, your wire on one side. Gather it all, get your wire on this side. Gather it all like that. And then put your finger in there and twist, twist, twist. And then there's all your, your little corsage. So you could, you know, in front of the TV at night, bang these out and you don't have to worry about cutting and snipping and blah. it's just, bloop. and when you need to go, need to go get a corsage bow for your corsage, you just snip right there. And there it is, bluff it up however you want okay so that was that ribbon um i'm gonna show you how i do the twist and this is you could even do it with the corsage sometimes i do it with the corsage because again when you twist then you're putting that loop on a different direction a different path it's not just straight up and down so let me show you this, right? Because you can't do this. Oh, I guess you could. No, you can't. Because then you're not showing the top anymore. So you have to twist it, all right? So you start out with your tail, right? Start out with the loop with your loops. Okay, so let's do that again. So here's your tail. Now you can't do it, I guess you could do it this way. No, you, you're right, you can't do it this way because we're not gonna do the twists on the first loop. So start with your, with your tail kind of backside and then the front side loop, front side loop. Okay, so now if we were gonna continue, you have the back of the ribbon. So you twist, right? You just twist the ribbon that's it so i'm taking the ribbon and twisting it that's it so let's do that again right loop 
loop. Twist. You're going to twist. All the twists are going to stay under your finger in the same spot. All the fabric's going to be, all the ribbon's going to be gathered there. So now, see when I twisted? See how now the loop is going to go to the side? So you could twist it all the way over here if you wanted to. You could twist it and keep it straight up if you wanted to. But that's the nice thing about the twisting is that you could place it there anywhere you want. So you can you could fan it out by the twistings. You're going to twist again. So this is what I usually do. I usually twist and put one on this side, twist and put one on this side, twist, put one on that side, twist, put one on this side. Okay, twist again to get your little tail. We're going to do the trick. So look at how wide that ribbon is. Look at that's what you're going to see in the center if you don't do my little trick. So you're going to squish all the ribbon together. You're going to take these two wires and make them more of a hairpin. So squish, 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 squish. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. So now it's together like that. Put your finger in and twist. Twist, twist, twist. See, so it closed up that center. And then now, because you have everything twisted, you could really move these, these around if you wanted a full, a full bow where there's some loops down here as well, you could do that. You could make that happen. For right now, I'm just gonna leave it like that. But you get the gist that this one, look at this one can come all the way down here if you wanted it to. This one could come all the way up here if you wanted it to. But because they're corsages, I usually like my corsages to be kind of sideways little bows. Okay, now I'm also gonna show you, some people like to have centers of bows. So you start with, I haven't, like this. There's your center. Instead of where I was starting with tails, you would loop like that. Okay. With this one, you would then need to twist. So I'm going to make it a little smaller so you could see. There's your there's your center. Then you could twist. Again, everything needs to everything needs to stay between your fingers at the same spot so when you wrap that wire around, you catch everything. Twist. Twist. And then it comes up. Twist comes up. This one's going to be smaller because I'm running out of ribbon. Twist, come up. So maybe I won't do any tails. Oh, no, I need to do tails. Okay, so there's the ribbon. But because I ran out of ribbon, here, I got it. I'll take it off the other ribbon. So then you're, you're going to cut, you're going to cut a piece for your tail and just stick it on the back like that. Okay, then we're gonna, do, 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 do. we're gonna now put the wire through that hole. See what we did? Put the wire right through this hole. But then the same concept. Do the hairpin, so get your wire like this. Close. 
squeeze, 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 squeeze. And you could, when you're twisting, I always kind of squeeze as well. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. All right. So now when you fluff, you will have a center loop. So you'll have three on each side. And then your center. I'm fluffing, sorry, I'm fluffing. Of course, they're not coming out perfect because of how I'm doing it to show you. But you could see, here's your three loops on this side. Here's your three loops on this side. This is what I usually do. I usually pull two and then one. Usually pull two and then have your one. And then there's your center. So you have your three on each side, your tail, your three on each side, and then your center. So let's go back to the shear if you wanted to do a center, right? We start with that. All right, and then let's do, let's do the twists for the shear. So you're gonna twist, you're gonna twist, twist, twist. Let's see how that comes out. We're going to put the wire through it. Take the wire over here. Squish. Get your finger in there and twist, twist, twist. So now it's going to have your three loops on either side and then one in the center. There's your center loop. So you could do that. What I didn't do was add the tail. When you do your center loop, you have to add the tail at the end. It only has one tail. Because the other way I started with the tail and ended with a tail, this way you start with the center, you end with one tail, you have to add your other one. So this way does take more ribbon. And it might take a little bit more time because you're doing the twists. Okay, so now I'm going to get onto a bigger ribbon. If you're doing bigger bows, I mean, you do want wired, wired ribbon because that's really going to make such a good bow. All right, so let's do the center. So we start with our center. So you can do a few things. You can make all... I always like to do the twists on big bows, regardless whether it's front or back, because I just think you can manipulate the and move the loops a little bit more. So you could do a bow where it's gradual the loops, or you can do them all the same. Let's try all the same and see what that looks like. All the same size loops. So we're gonna twist. Twist. And again, when I do these twists, then I'm able to put that on this side. And because I angled it, this ribbon is now angled over here. See that? So I'm going to twist, twist, and come down on an angle. So it goes up at an angle. I'm going to twist, coming up back at that angle, going back at that angle. Twist, again, all the same size. Come back. At that angle. So I got three, all the same size. I'm going to twist for a tail and then add on the last tail so you just gather it where every all the other ones are gathered okay I'm gonna put in the center 
going to kind of squeeze it all together, squeeze it all together, the wire, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So it's back to hairpin, get your finger in there and then twist. So look at, if you didn't twist, you'd be twisting, you'd just be starting to twist the, the wire here and you'd have that thick um, piece of ribbon. All the, all it, it's all gathered here and it's so thick and heavy. When you do this and you're pressing your finger and you're twisting, it kind of gathers it even more. See how tight we got that? It's all those pieces of ribbon are right there. Like, look at that right there in a little hairpin. Okay, so now we can fluff. Fluff, fluff, fluff. Fluff, fluff, fluff. So these were all the same size. And then you have your center. See how nice when you do these twists, right? And if you don't like, you know, you can make them more. I like it when it's all the, when the loops are all the same, same length, because otherwise you'll have, um, you'll have different lengths. So you would, I feel like you would need more loops to fill it out. So you'd have some short ones, some long ones. So like back here, you could have a long one. So for now, we'll just say that we're keeping them all the same, the same length. All right, and then let's do a bigger sheer one. No center and no twists, okay? So I'm gonna start with the loop and the tail. So we're just gonna go up. I'm still gonna keep the loops the same. Oh, we're not doing a twist. We're going up, down, up, down, cutting for a tail. Okay, look how wide that is. We're gonna squish it all together in between your fingers. Have the wire come like that. Now we're gonna Squish, 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 squish. So now it's hairpin. Use your finger and twist, 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 twist. All right. So fluffing. Fluffing, you know, when you don't twist, um, isn't going to amount to much because you've laid the loops on top of each other. So they're not going to go that much further but you can get them to separate a little bit. That's why I like to do the twists. You know, it's more of kind of like a linear bouquet. I mean, a linear uh, bow. Let's see, for shits and giggles, let's make a bow that uh, with this shear that I do the twists and let's see the difference. Okay, so let's start over, right? So we have our loop, our loop, twist. Our loop, same length, twist. Our loop, same length, twist. Our loop, same length, twist. Final loop, same length, twist, cut. Yeah, you could see already that the twist kind of are taking, um, making the shape of the bow. All right, so you're gonna get in there with the wire, pull your finger, twist, twist. Yeah, see already that those twists now, now we can fluff it and pull them Fluff it and pull them. There was no center again. You know, we could have a center there and then it looks more like, like this bow when you do a center. But here's your shear. 
So the loops are kind of separated, whereas this one was more straight. All right, so you can make your bows however you want. This twist, when you're twisting the ribbon, again, it flares out your loops. And also with that, um, using your finger to press all the ribbon together and to get that ribbon really, really, really tight allows you to move everything as well. All right, so I hope you learned something. Leave a comment if you want. If you want me to make anything else, let me know. Happy prom season.